I used to frequently use TikTok watching trick shots, gaming posts, and other comedy clips. There was one guy who I followed though, but the clips he posted were very unusual. They weren't very nice to be honest. He used to wear this featureless mask and do things like spy on people in their house and frighten them. He even went as far as to attack someone. I gotta say I'm not sure if it was real or not because the clips would end before you could tell but it felt genuine to me. I'm not proud that I watched this guy harass and assault people, but I did. One day I noticed I had gotten a new follower on TikTok. It was the same guy that I just mentioned. At first I was a bit worried, but shrugged it off. I was in the underground parking lot after I was done grocery shopping. It was late in the evening, so the parking lot was practically empty. Well, it looked empty, but I could feel that there was someone there with me. I suddenly became very paranoid. That night I was scrolling through my TikTok and saw a clip that made my heart sink. It was me in the parking lot looking anxiously around my surroundings. It was by the same guy that had followed me on TikTok from earlier. The next two days were the same. I was very paranoid thinking I was being watched and followed. And my suspicions were confirmed because each night that guy had posted, it was clips of me. I felt sick and decided to call the police. Unfortunately, they said there wasn't much they could do as no crime had been committed. A week went by and the post stopped. I started to relax thinking maybe he had just moved on and it was all part of his prank thing or whatever. That was until I was attacked outside my house. I was hit over the head with something. I fell to the ground nearly knocked out, but I was still conscious enough for a moment to see. What I saw will haunt me forever. It was a man standing over me with a featureless mask holding a phone up. I passed out, but the next thing I remember was waking up in a hospital. I was found by someone who lived nearby. I told the police of what happened, but his account had been deleted. Whether or not his clips were staged or fake, his assault on me certainly was real. The weird thing I don't understand is why he deleted his account after attacking me. Unlike the other people, I deleted my TikTok. And this incident and the experience has scarred me for life. I just want to tell you, be aware of your surroundings because you never know who could be watching you. And honestly, I would stay off of TikTok and any other social media.